Bukod sa pagkuha ng area ng isang uh, function between curves, ginagamit din ang integration sa pagkuha naman ng volume ng solid figures. Now, let S be a solid that lies between x equal to A and x equal to B. If the cross-section area of S in the plane Px through x and perpendicular to the axis is A of x, then the volume of that solid figure will be the integration of Ax dx from A through B. So sa pagkuha ng uh, integration or sa paggamit ng integration sa pagkuha ng volume ng isang solid figure, eh pwede natin gamitin to as an example. So makikita nyo, solid figure to. Um, hindi man sa curve pero solid figure pa rin. Now sa calculus, sa pagcompute ng volume ng solid figure na curve, ang kailangan lang natin is kumuha ng isang slice doon sa inyong solid figure at sa pamamagitan ng slice na ito, itong slice na ito, dito natin ibabase yung kukunin nating volume through integration. So, ang mangyayari, kukunin natin yung lahat ng summation ng bawat slices na nandito sa solid figure para makabuo tayo noong computation ng volume ng isang solid figure. Now, ito yung example naman ng pagkuha ng volume gamit naman ng isang function. So in this example, we need to find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating about the x-axis, the region under the curve of y equal to the square root of x from 0 to 1. Now, kapag ka ginraph natin yung function natin na y equal to x at sinunod natin yung mga instructions sa atin sa pagkuha ng volume ng figure na ito, magkakaroon tayo ng function na nandiri ito. Itong graph na ito yung function na y equals squared of x. So, ito yung graph niya. Na kapag ka daw ni-rotate natin, imagine nyo, so kailangan dito sa lesson na ito, ay eh marunong kayo mag-visualize ng solid figure. Imagine this graph right here is being rotated along the x-axis. So, kapag inikot-ikot nyo siya at nakabuo siya ng solid figure, ma-i-imagine nyo na yung solid figure na yun ay eh magiging parang cylindrical cone, similar to this one. So, ang kailangan natin gawin according to the problem is to compute for the volume of the object being rotated dito nga dito sa function na ito. At ito yung solid figure na nabuo. So, isa siyang cylindrical cone. At sa pagkuha ng cylindrical cone, sa pagkuha ng volume ng cylindrical co co cone through integration, gagamitin natin yung isang slice ng cylindrical cone at yung isang slice na yun will form into a circle. Now, itong circle na to, tulad kanina nung ginamit ko tong solid figure na to at gumamit ako ng isang slice square yung lumabas. Pero dito naman sa aking example ngayon, sa isang cylindrical cone, imagine yung nakinuha ko yung slice na ito, ang mabubuo naman ngayon is isang circle. Now, sa pagkuha ng area ng circle, kasi ang pagkuha ng volume using integration is basically Pagkuha ng area ng circle, alam natin na ang formula ng pagkuha ng area ng circle is pi r squared. So, dito naman sa function na ito, ang kahanapin natin is yung radius nitong circle na to. At sa pagkuha ng radius ng circle na to, ibabase natin siya sa calculus which is yung formula na ginapin natin sa pagkuha ng area which is top minus bottom. So, yung top function niya will be this function y equals square root of x at yung bottom function niyo will be zero. So, kapag kinuha natin yung... Uh, Radius na to, it's basically top minus bottom, which is square root of x minus 0. So therefore, yung radius, nakakailanganin natin sa pag-compute ng area, and eventually, yung volume ng solid figure will be square root, square root of x. So ito yung gagamitin nating formula, at ito yung gagamitin nating radius para sa pag-solve ng volume nitong mga slices na ito. So, ito yung illustration natin kanina. At sa kukumputin na natin, or ready na tayo mag-compute ng volume using the area of a circle. Kasi yun yung slice ng ating cylindrical cone. Once again, yung radius natin is makukuha natin siya by doing top minus bottom, which is the top function, minus the bottom function, which is square root of x minus 0 equal to the square root of x. At gagamitin natin ito mamaya sa pag-compute ng volume. Now, once again, dun sa definition ng volume using integration, Volume is computed by finding a of x dx from a through b. At yung a through b natin, ito yung ating limit of integration na given dun sa problem a while ago. So, ipag 
ginamit natin yung formula na to using this cylindrical cone, it will look something like this. The volume of the solid will be the area of a circle dx or yung mga slices ng circle along the interval a through b. At kapag kinuha natin yung formula ng area of a circle, it's pi r squared dx. At since yung, imagine nyo ito yung isang circle na yun, yung area niya, kukumpletin natin yung integration para makuha natin yung solid figure from 0 to 1. So ito yung interval nung solid figure na yun. So ang substitute natin sa a and b will be from 0 to 1 pi r squared dx. At alam natin yung ating r base dun sa problem is squared of x. So we have the volume of using the properties of integration since yung pi is constant, you can take it out from the integral function para makapag-concentrate kayo na i-integrate c x dx. At alam natin ang integration ng x dx is x squared all over 2 from 0 to 1. Evaluate nyo yung integral function na to and you'll have 1 squared all over 2 multiplied by pi. Therefore, ang volume ng solid figure na naform natin kanina is pi over 2 unit cubed. At yan yung pagkuha ng volume ng solid or um, solid figure na na-generate sa pag-rotate ng function nyo along the x-axis. At ito yung mas visual or mas maayos na visual representation nung lesson natin. So ito yung problem kanina. We need to uh, find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating about the x-axis. The region under the curve of y equals the square root of x from 0 to 1. Ito yung ating xy plane. Ito yung ating function na y squared of x. At yung interval niya daw is given as 0 and 1. And if we rotate yung ating function na y squared of x along the x-axis, it will generate a solid figure which is similar to a cylindrical cone. Now, to find the volume of that cylindrical cone, kailangan natin kunin yung radius ng pinakamalaking circle doon sa ating interval. At yun yung top minus bottom. So yung top function nyo is squared of x at yung bottom function nyo is 0, so the radius of this particular function will be squared of x. Now, to find the volume of the generated solid dun sa rotation ng y equals squared of x, gagamitin natin yung area ng circle which is pi r squared. Now, using the formula for finding the volume of the solid figure, it will give us the integration of pi r squared dx from 0 to 1, which will give us pi squared of x squared dx or square root of x squared dx at makakancel nyo na yung uh, square root sign and you'll have the integral of pi x dx. At kapag na-evaluate nyo na yung ating integral function, your answer will be pi over 2 unit cubed. Yan yung pagkuha ng volume na generated by y squared of x rotated along the x-axis. Now, so example number two naman, we need to find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by y equals x cubed, y equals 8, y equals 0 about the y-axis. So this time naman, imbis na nag-rotate yung function nyo along the x-axis, nag-rotate naman ngayon yung inyong function along the y-axis, so yung ikot niya will be on your y-axis. So kapag nag-graph nyo yung function na y equals x cubed, ito yung magiging graph ng y equals x cubed. At according to the problem, you need to rotate your function along the y-axis. So this is the solid figure that is generated by the function na narotate nyo along the y-axis. So parehas pa rin siya nung itsura nung uh, previous example but this time it's being rotated along the y-axis. At kapag narotate siya along the y-axis, yung ating function na y equals x cubed which is a function with respect to x will need to be changed to a function with respect to y kasi nag-umikot na siya doon sa ating y-axis. At pag kinuha natin yung radius ng solid figure na to, mapapansin nyo na hindi tayo pumupuntang ng top minus bottom para makuha yung um, area ng solid figure. Kailangan natin gawin yung right minus left method. So we have y equals x cubed. Now it's x equal to cube root of y. So ito yung magiging function natin in terms of y. So yung radius natin will be right minus left, which is cube root of y minus 0. Ito yung cube root of y, 
minus 0, at yung radius natin is simply cube root of y. So to find the volume of the solid figure, we'll have volume of a through b ng area ng dy, which is a circle. So gagamitin uli natin yung formula ng circle, which is pi r squared dy, and it will be integrated from 0 through 8. So r squared is going to be cube root of y squared dy times pi. I-isolate natin si pi through the properties of your function. And you'll have y raised to 2 thirds dy from 0 to 1. So we multiply na na, or change na natin to into a fractional exponent. And you'll have pi times yung integral nitong ating function will be y raised to 5 over 3 times 3 over 5 from 0 to 8, and evaluating it will give you 96 pi all over 5. And using your calculator to further simplify this function, it will give you 60.319 unit, unit cubed. So yan yung volume ng example number 2.